and simple. Okay? What do you understand about Dalton's law, by the way? Anyone? Anyone? Total pressure of the mixing. Mixture, mixing pada. Alright. Pertama, dia kena ada mixture. Alright. Dia kena ada mixture. Yes. And apa yang human, uh, human cakap tadi adalah the total pressure will be equals to the partial pressure of the component. So, kalau kalau dalam mixture tu ada A dengan B bermakna partial pressure A dengan B akan sama dengan total pressure. Betul. Okay. Sebelum tu, seperti yang human kata, we need to have a mixture. Yes, we need to have a mixture. Selain daripada mixture, what else in Dalton's law that you need to know? Apa lagi syarat ni? Non-reacting gas. Non-reacting gas. Very important. Imagine you have a beaker right now having your A and B non-reacting. So A adalah partial pressure A, B adalah partial pressure B. Duduk dalam container yang sama. Berat A adalah berat A, berat B adalah berat B. So pelanggaran untuk A, the collision of the part uh, particle A will produce your partial pressure A. The collision of the particle B with everything in the container will produce the partial pressure B. And the partial pressure will remain the same if there is no changes. But imagine if one day in the gas is reacting. So your AB will react to form an X, let's say. Your AB can react and form an X. Then your beaker will be having your AB and your X. Nampak? First and foremost, the partial pressure of AB will not be remain the same because A kena react dengan B, A dengan B kena berkurang baru dapat X. So, bilangan dia berkurang banyak mana? Kita tak tahu. X bertambah banyak mana? Kita tak tahu. Okay. So, the second condition about your Dalton's law is both of the gases, not only both, all of the gases in the mixture must be non-reacting. Dengan kata lain, bahasa Melayu dia adalah kita tak buat apa lah. Alright. We have no new product. Kita tak buat apa. Duduklah kat situ. Ha, dia bergerak dalam dalam kotak yang sama, orang yang sama. Okay. And last but not least, in your Dalton's law, it must be in a closed container. Okay, it must be in a closed container. Dia mesti duduk dalam container yang tertutup supaya pelanggaran terhasil dan menghasilkan pressure. Rather in mind, all this pressure produced is because of the collision. Alright, the collision is the one that will be producing pressure. Okay, and this is the formula that you will have in your Dalton's law. Total pressure will be equal to the partial pressure of everything. Kalau dalam beaker Miss Wong ada lebih daripada dua. If in our beaker, I have a new thing. A, B and then C. So you have one more thing which is a partial pressure C. Therefore, total pressure akan jadi hasil tambah dia orang. So hasil tambah berapa akan bergantung pada dalam beaker kamu ada berapa orang. Not necessary A and B only. Not necessary dua, not necessary tiga. Tapi perasan tak? Dua tu minimum lah. Kan? Because make sure you have a make sure because you have more than one thing. So two is the minimum. Okay? And when you use the formula, I think this formula is very easy to use. Hasil tambah weh. So unit kena sama. I mean kalau sampai sekarang pun hasil tambah tak tahu unit kena sama hampa kena balik tadika weh belajar satu tambah satu balik. Okay? Tadika sekarang tak belajar satu tambah satu kot. Saya tengok anak saudara saya belajar benda yang macam aku tak pernah belajar pun sama aku tadi ke? Very weird. Not weird as in different way. Okay. Total pressure have two method to find. The first method is this one. Having all the partial pressure dengan unit yang sama, kamu tambah, kamu dapat total pressure. Anybody? Another unit? Another unit pula. Another formula to calculate the total pressure. Anyone? Uh, partial pressure A sama dengan uh, mole fraction dan mole fraction A darab pre total pressure. Uh, yang tu saya rasa kita akan guna biasa untuk cari mole uh, partial pressure. Sekarang saya nak kepala dia adalah total pressure. I have one more method. Uh, PT. Yes, PT. Jangan tawar. Tawar dia. PT sama dengan NT per V. 
Yes. Remember? And I hope you realize this thing coming from ideal gas equation. Do you? And the only things that make it different is when you are looking for the total pressure, the number of mole that you use must be the number of mole total. So, nak lagi senang nak kamu nampak, kalau kita kira total pressure, make sure number of mole adalah total dalam keadaan semua, volume pun yang total, temperature pun yang total. Tapi biasanya kenapa temperature dengan volume saya kita tak highlight? Sebab temperature dengan volume biasanya adalah keadaan. Saya buat dalam bika 5 liter, 5 liter lah, betul? Alright, saya buat dalam suhu 20 degrees Celsius, 20 degrees Celsius lah. Yang tu biasa tak jadi isu. Yang akan jadi isu is this one. When you're calculating for the total pressure, make sure the number of mole that you use is number of mole uh, total. And since, kenapa saya tunjuk dia adalah ideal gas? Since everything is coming from the ideal gas, therefore, the unit that we learn in your ideal gas will be applied. Pressure masih adalah unit yang sepatutnya dan akan menentukan your R. Your ATM will be using 0.08206. Your kilopascal will be using 8.314. Okay. Volume mesti adalah liter. Temperature mesti adalah Kelvin. Yang ni tak boleh ubah. That's why I tell you this formula coming from where? Unit, 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 unit. We've been talking about that the whole week last week. Agree? Okay. Yang tu total pressure. But you realize that actually what important ataupun yang banyak ditanya dalam soalan is actually partial pressure. Betul? Alright. Yang banyak kena kira bukan total pressure. Total pressure 99% dia bagi. Okay. Yang banyak kamu kira adalah partial pressure atau mole fraction. So partial pressure is the one that I want you to look at. Formula dia adalah biasa kamu tak guna padahal dia senang nak guna. Kamu akan selalu cenderung ke arah your ideal gas equation di mana you love to use this. Alright, you love to use this. And everything come from your ideal gas, unit-unit semua okay ke? You know the temperature must be in Kelvin, volume must be in liter, yang tu tak jadi isu eh. Okay, so I believe everybody happy with this, right? Yang kamu selesa, yang kamu selalu terfikir. Padahal we have another one. The one that I think your friend just mentioned. Partial pressure, mole fraction times total pressure. Then dalam video, I put a bracket to show you diorang adalah hasil darab. Okay. Before I go any further, okay, before I go any further, they are the same thing. We are looking for the same thing. Both are calculating partial pressure. And... Before I go any further to describe that, just one thing, unit. When we have two unit, when we have two pressure, partial pressure and the total pressure, unit, dia bukan dari ideal gas tau. Unit jadi tak penting tetapi kena sama. Sebab kalau dalam objektif keluar dan pressure yang dia bagi semua adalah dalam tor atau semua dalam millimeter mercury, okay? Tak, bukan semua keadaan kamu kena tukar ATM. Sometimes you can stick with the top. Sometimes you can stick with the millimeter mercury. Tak payah tukar. Betul? Alright. Kalau kamu selagi kamu tak guna ideal gas equation, kamu tak payah tukar unit pressure tersebut. Make sense? Okay. Sebab, uh, again, dalam Dalton's law, sebab kita ada formula lain selain daripada ideal gas. That's why we play with the unit a lot. And I don't want you to waste time changing the unit if it's not necessary. Okay? So we will look at the question. Don't worry. And in here, partial pressure A equals to mole fraction times the total pressure. We want to look at mole fraction. We talk about mole fraction in topic one in more, uh, concentration, if you remember. Do you? Can I have the formula of the mole fraction A? Number of mole A per number of mole total. Thank you. Setuju? Next question. Any unit? No unit. Second question. XA calculated the mole fraction calculated more than one or less than one. Or can be any value. 
Less than one. Thank you, Jiha. Thank you, Om Gapmat. Okay. Benda ni adalah pecahan. Ratio ataupun fraction adalah dalam satu beaker, saya ada campuran A, B, C. Okay. Pernah minum uh, teh ais? Tiga layer or whatsoever yang kamu ada teh pekat kat bawah. Lepas tu kamu ada teh pun tak tinggal eh, Jamie Swong. Weh. What do you learn in your school? Sorry. Your tea. And then you have your milk. And then you have your, maybe your foam. Alright. And then you have your ice. Betul. Okay. Pecahan adalah dia ambil berapa pecahan? Dia ambil 0.25. Dia ambil 0.5. Bila dia adalah pecahan sayang, value yang kamu kira less than 1 wajib. Setuju? So bila keluar objektif ABC yang more than 1 tu, hang boleh pangkas siap-siap dah. You know it's wrong. Okay? Second, talking about this small fraction. Kalau dalam beaker saya, saya hanya ada A dengan B. I found the more fraction of A. How can I find the mole fraction of B other than using the same method? Anyone? 1 minus X A. 1 minus X A, uh, Zulaika and the friend. 1 minus X A. Kenapa jadi macam tu? Untuk cari mole fraction B, kita boleh buat 1 minus X A. Agree? Yang lain? Why it becomes like that? Bear that in mind. The total of your mole fraction, total of all your mole fraction, okay, must be equals to 1. Kalau ada tiga benda, bermakna kamu ada XA tambah XB tambah XC akan sama dengan 1. Jumlah mole fraction mesti kena sama dengan 1. And of course, if you ask me, teacher, Susah lah. Tak tahu bila masa boleh satu tolak. Saya nak kira cara biasa je. Number of more B over number of more total. Betul. Tak salah. Okay. I give you more option over here in today lesson and tomorrow lesson, uh, tomorrow lesson because I want you to open up your mind and think something different and choose the one easier. Okay. And of course, during the exam, if the easy version doesn't come into your mind, tak terfikir cara shortcut tu. Tak payah fikir buat apa yang kamu ingat. I always tell my student, tak perlu jawab laju, tak perlu jawab pendek kalau salah. Jawab yang betul. Okay? Slightly longer is fine as long as it's correct. Boleh? Okay? Happy with this? So, more fraction ada tiga benda yang kamu kena tengok. Satu, by using the formula of your ideal guess. Most of the time, kita akan guna formula ni kalau soalan bagi temperature and volume. The problem arise adalah kadang-kadang dalam Dalton's law dia hanya guna perkataan constant temperature at a fixed volume. Dia bagi tahu volume fix tapi dia tak Sorry. Ada orang menjerit. Benda. Dah letak dia siapa? Kejut aku. Takut oh. Baby ah. Kadang-kadang dia bagi tahu constant temperature atau fixed volume. Soalan tak bagi tahu fixed tu berapa. Dalam keadaan macam tu, this is the last thing that we do. Tak salah, saya tahu ada soalan yang boleh buat nanti. Kita bincang soalan tu, jangan risau. Okay? Tapi biasanya bila masa nak guna idea guess, when you have everything that you need. But when you don't have everything that you need, you don't have the value, you don't have the volume and temperature. We can use this to calculate your partial pressure with a condition. You need number of mole. Nampak? So, kalau ada number of mole, kita guna yang ni. Kalau ada temperature volume, kita guna yang ni. Alright? Okay? Dua-dua formula kat sini hanya satu benda. Unit. The entire chapter sayang, dari minggu lepas kita talk about unit. Okay? So, that's it about Dalton's law. Very simple concept. Sangat-sangat simple. Water displacement method. Next. Kita bincang dulu semua dan kita buat soalan. Sebab dua-dua guna konsep yang sama. Okay? Anybody want to tell me anything about water displacement method? What do you understand or what do you know? I 
Apa yang kamu faham pasal water displacement method? What are we displacing? Gas. Gas. Gas is Alright. The water will be displaced by gas. Betul? So gas dengan air ataupun kenapa? Why the gas can displace water? What is the condition that the gas can displace water? Gas is less dense than solid. Gas is less dense. Uh, okay, yes. Gas less dense than solid. So that your gas will be on top of the liquid. Sorry, not bukan solid, liquid. So that your gas will be on top of the liquid. Yes, correct. Lagi, lagi, one more. Water displacement method. Sorry? Insoluble. Perfect. The gas must be insoluble in water. Sayang, kita akan salurkan gas tu melalui air. Kalau air kamu, kalau gas yang kamu salurkan tu adalah soluble gas, kita takkan kumpul apa-apa. Sebab semua gas dah masuk dalam air. So, gas yang kita boleh kumpul, gas yang kita boleh kumpul jadi water displacement method must be an insoluble gas, one. Second, we can collect the gas because the gas density is less dense than liquid. So that the gas will be floating on top of the liquid. Okay? So bear that in mind in the water displacement method, syarat dia ada dua yang kamu kena kenal. Kamu kena tahu apa itu pressure ATM. Kamu kena tahu apa itu pressure total. Okay? So what is actually ATM? What is pressure ATM? Anyone? Bila paras air dalam beaker sama dengan paras air dalam kontena, pressure dia sama kan ATM? Okay. Tak menjawab soalan saya. Soalan saya apa tu pressure ATM? Atmosphere apa yang Zawani cakap betul? Sama Atmospheric okay? pressure. Atmospheric pressure. Atmospheric pressure. My question. Atmospheric pressure kat sini dengan atmospheric pressure kat Antarctic. Sama ke? Tak eh? Uh, bukan bukan saya tak ya cakap sampai kutuk utara kutuk selatan ya, jauh sangat. Uh, ever heard of the place called Nepal? Alright, tekanan udara dia orang rendah, betul? It's very hard to breathe if you are not used to the uh, uh, pressure of the air. Kamu turun turun flight mungkin kamu kena naik flight dan balik dah. Okay, because the air pressure is very low. Bila atmospheric pressure kamu sangat rendah, tekanan udara kat luar ya ni sangat rendah. Udara tu tak nak masuk dalam badan kamu. Dia tak nak masuk dalam lung kamu. Sebab tak luar pun dah rendah. Nothing is pushing in. Sebab tu bila orang panjat gunung makin tinggi orang panjat gunung, orang lagi susah nak bernafas. Sebab lagi tinggi kamu pergi ke atas gunung tu, tekanan udara ke atas tu lagi rendah. Bila tekanan udara rendah, means kamu duduk kat keliling, tekanan tu sangat rendah. So gas tu takkan ditolak masuk dalam uh, your nose and your lung and etc. That's why you will be gasping for air. Okay, so what happened over here? Atmospheric pressure is your surrounding pressure. And what I want to tell you, one thing over here. Atmospheric pressure boleh berubah. First. Second, a standard atmospheric pressure is 1 atm around us. Kalau soalan tak bagi, soalan tak tanya, then atmospheric adalah satu. Tapi kalau soalan bagi dan soalan tanya ataupun dia tanya dan atmospheric pressure mesti bukan satu. Okay? I want to remind you this. Because selalu sangat budak akan rasa atmospheric pressure satu. No. Sayang atmospheric pressure kita kat sini dengan atmospheric pressure kita kat gunung Kindabalu atas tu pun lain. Okay? So it's different story even though you are in, still in Malaysia. Okay? So over here, your water displacement started with Air di luar adalah rendah. Air di dalam beaker adalah penuh. Syarat dia adalah you must start with your beaker or your container yang terbalik ni, air dia kena penuh. Okay. And what happened is, I started with that and then I have gas going in. And that is the reason why your gas must be insoluble because your gas will be passing through the liquid or the water. To be honest, it's the water. Okay. And what happened next is 
due to the concept of your air, your gas is less dense than the liquid. Look at the liquid kat bawah. Uh, look at the liquid kat uh, beaker dulu. Liquid akan turun. Betul? Sebab gas yang naik, gas yang naik tu ada density yang lebih rendah. Uh, lebih rendah. So, dia akan terapung atas air. So, bila dia terapung ke atas air, dia akan tolak air tu turun. Okay. Dan sayang, look at here. Logically, yang kat container tadi adalah tinggi ni je. Alright. Kat container luar adalah tinggi ni. Tapi sebab air dalam beaker sekarang dah turun, air dalam container akan naik. Dia penuh. Kat, tadi kat luar rendah ni je. Tadi kat dalam penuh. So, bila yang kat dalam tu turun, Air kat luar kan naiklah. Betul? Dia nak pergi mana lagi? Dia duduk dalam kontainer yang sama. Right? Until one moment, the entire reaction will continue sebab Zawa dah jawab tadi. So tak payah tanyalah. The entire reaction will continue over here. You collect all this is your gas. And the reaction will continue as Zawa said, we will stop when the water, sorry my beaker is getting ugly but it's fine. Everybody understand that it's a beaker. So yeah. And the reaction will continue until the water outside is the same as the water inside. The water level is the same. And I hope you can see that the water level is actually from the outside is going up. Kenapa air kat luar akan naik sebab air dalam beaker dah keluar. Nampak? Project. Okay. Dia nak turun pergi mana lagi? Dia akan turun lah. Benda ni saya buat dulu masa tak tahun 6. Aku tak tahu kenapa orang pun tak buat. Best main ayah ye. Lepas tu cikgu sign saya garang gila tak gaban. Dia ada lapan orang anak. Alright. It's a very famous teacher back in my hometown. Sebab garang gila tak gaban. Lepas tu dia combat dengan ayah saya. Saya buat salah apa pun. Ayah saya akan tahu. Alright. Horrible. Okay. Uh, it's a very good teacher by the way. Alright. She make me who I am today partially. So yeah. So over here is all your gas collected. Agree? Okay. Keep the gas first. And Zawa said just now, I have my atmospheric pressure. Is this atmospheric pressure? Atmospheric pressure adalah tekanan kat luar ni. Okay. That is our atmospheric pressure. And what happened? Zawa said atmospheric pressure equal to the total pressure sebab water level sama. Bila water level sama, kita akan assume tekanan di dalam, tekanan di dalam beaker kamu pun akan sama. And I use the word total pressure. What is the total pressure? Kenapa bukan hanya pressure of gas? Anybody? Have water vapor. Because we have water vapor. Ever heard of the word vaporization? Ever heard of the word penyejatan? Where the wa water, where the water liquid will be vaporized or evaporated to become vapor. Betul? Kita akan tersejat. Tak banyak, tak pernah banyak. Sebab proses kita bukan buat proses penyejatan. Proses kita adalah kumpul gas. Tapi dalam proses kumpul gas, kita lalu guna air. And air akan tersejat a little. That's why kalau kamu perasan dalam soalan-soalan kamu, The pressure of the water vapor sangat-sangat rendah. Betul? Sebab yang tu bukan benda yang kita nak kumpul pun. Dia cuma hadir tiba-tiba. Kita akan ada kehadiran wap air. Sedikit. Okay? That's why the total pressure that you have in the beaker, the P total, will then equals to the pressure of the gas plus the partial pressure of the water vapor. So saya nak ingatkan, the water over here is the water vapor. Wap air yang tersejat dan kumpul sekali dengan gas kamu. Okay. Alright. And due to the water level is the same, therefore you agree on the P atmospheric will be equal to the partial pressure, sorry, the total pressure. So total pressure sama dengan ATM, therefore... PATM will be equals to your gas plus your water. Senang. Okay. Dan proses dia adalah hasil tambah. Matematik dia. Boleh tukar-tukar unit. Boleh guna TOR. Dengan syarat. 
semua kena unit yang sama. Boleh guna ATM? Boleh. Boleh guna millimeter mercury? Boleh. Tapi dia adalah operasi tambah. So semua unit kena sama. Tu sahaja. Question? Simple? Alright. Very simple. I, I love this. One of the easiest thing. Okay. Dah? Kalau dah tak ada apa pasal water displacement method, that is everything about water displacement method including the formula and the uh, relationship. Okay? Any question about that? No? Okay. Exercise. Uh, tak habis kot sebab ada soalan yang pan panjang tu mungkin kita dapat bincang satu dua soalan je lah hari ni. Esok kita akan sambung, we'll discuss all the questions, don't worry. And tomorrow also we are going into some explanation. Okay, I have about, I think, nine or eight questions. Are there so I'll repeat. So which one should I start first? You choose. No, request to Allah Lima, Miss. Miss, do what you do. Oh, no. Lima. Lima. Uh, yang buka mic, biasa dapat lulu. Lapan, Miss. Lapan. Lapan, Miss. Lah. Uh, iya, iya, iya. Lapan, lapan. Zawa is the first person, so five. You know my class. Selagi Han tak buka mic, selagi itulah Han duduk kat situ. I don't know why Asian people or Malaysian people, you don't like to ask questions. You never doubt what I say? Saya cakap satu hari satu tambah satu sama dengan tiga. Kuasa Han masuk exam, Han tulis satu tambah satu sama dengan tiga. That is the biggest difference when I was back in UK and I'm doing my teaching there, when I'm doing my practical there. They love to ask questions. They, they love to ask questions. All right. Don't give them one question because you will have a lot of questions later on. And that is what you need to learn. Okay. You really should ask questions. So whoever open mic, mana lah betul Zawah. Zawa Zari Jari dok kat tab dah tadi dia buka dia kata soalan lima. So yes. Question five ladies and gentlemen. 11 gram of halothane vapor. So dia adalah gas. 21.5 gram of oxygen. Oxygen gas. Dia salah type. So it's still a gas. O2 eh. O2 eh. Beza oxygen dengan oxygen gas adalah oxygen O dengan oxygen gas O2. So mula mas akan berbeza eh. At a pressure of 10 millimeter mercury. Okay, malah nak baca kita lukis tau. So over here, I have a mixture. Inside, I have 11 gram of halothane. And inside also, I have 21.5 gram of oxygen gas. Soalan saya, 810 millimeter mercury adalah pressure siapa? Total or oxygen? Total. 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 Alright. Yang paling penting adalah value yang dia bagi adalah siapa punya. Saya rasa isu paling besar dalam soalan Dalton's Law dengan water displacement method adalah pressure yang dia bagi kadang-kadang kamu tak tahu dia siapa punya. Baca ayat betul-betul. A mixture of blah 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 oxygen gas. Campuran tersebut ada halotin dengan oxygen. Campuran itu produce a pressure of this. So, the P total is 810 millimeter mercury. We have two questions sebab saya nampak what dengan how. So, kita jawab soalan what dulu. What are the mole fraction and the partial pressure in ATM in each of the component in the mixture? What are the mole fraction and the partial pressure in ATM of each component in the mixture? So, Question asking for partial pressure and the mole fraction. Mole fraction of halothane. Partial pressure of halothane. All right. And then saya nak partial pressure of oxygen, mole fraction of oxygen. Agree? Okay. So, soalan how to tunggu saat. Yang ni dulu. How should you answer this? Yang dah buat. What do you think you start off with? Cari uh, mole total. total mole. Cari number of mole. 
saya akan jawab untuk soalan ni bila soalan tanya mole fraction dengan partial pressure kamu tak semestinya mula dengan mole fraction atau partial pressure. Kamu boleh mula ikut sebab dia tanya dua-dua. So kalau certain soalan dia senang lagi nak kira partial pressure dan kita kira partial pressure. Soalan apa yang senang lagi nak kira partial pressure kalau dia bagi total. Soalan ni dia tak bagi total. Soalan ni bermula hanya dengan mass of the component. So soalan ni lagi senang untuk cari mole fraction terlebih dahulu. Kenapa saya nampak mole fraction senang? Sayang dari mass boleh dapat apa? Mole. Betul? First thing, molar mass. So the very first thing that you will do is the molar mass of your halotin. And by that in mind, halotin kita tak pernah tahu halotin tu apa sebab tu dia bagi C2 H hujan ke saya? Hujan, yes. Saya drive tak? Saya tak drive. Okay. So, molar mass. Okay. Sama juga dengan molar mass of oxygen gas. Uh, saya salah type. Gas kat sini adalah oxygen. Bila dia tulis oxygen gas, chlorine gas, hydrogen gas is a H2, N2, Cl2, O2 and so on. Okay. Can I have the molar mass of halotin, please? 100 lebih. Tak tahu 100 berapa. 197.4. Yes, I want is the point four behind. I hope you still remember in your topic one at the very beginning, we talk about atomic mass is one decimal place in our syllabus. Remember? Semua orang kena dapat point empat. Oxygen, 32.0 gram per mole. From the molar mass, kita akan dapat number of mole. So number of mole of halotin. All right, the number of mole of halotin is the mass divided by the molar mass, 11 gram over 197.4. So the number of mole halotin, number of mole of oxygen gas 21.5 gram over 32 gram per mole. Okay. So can I have the number of mole of halotin? Uh, 0.0572. 0.0572. 5.0.5. Boleh lah. Okay. Number of mole of oxygen gas? 0 0.6719. Thank you, Benjin. 0 0.6719 mole. Okay. I need calculator. I cannot trust you 100%, by the way. Uh, saya memang tak tekan. So, macam biasa, ada value kawan kamu bagi lain dengan kamu ask. Open up your mind and speak. Alright. So, number of mole dah settle. Uh, human tadi dari awal kata cari number of mole total. So obviously, dalam tu ada dua orang sahaja, halotin and your oxygen. So we can find the number of mole total equals to the number of mole of your halotin plus your oxygen. So kamu akan dapat number of mole total. Saya rasa saya tak perlu tunjuk sangat-sangat detail, tambah je lah. And over that, saya rasa kita dapat 0.7 something. Betul? Zero point? 0.7 dua tujuh enam. Zero point? Tak dengar. 07276. 7276 mo. Okay. We stop at here for one second. Susah tak start kat ni? Benda yang kita duk buat betul. You know why I love Dalton Law? Because they repeat the same thing at least twice. And you get two times marks of the same thing. Nampak? Dalton's law, if you ask me, susah tak? Dia tak susah, tapi dia sangat panjang. Sebab minimum kamu kena kira untuk dua orang kalau mixture itu hanya ada dua orang. So you're actually repeating. And guys, when you are repeating, having a lot of values, one thing, label. You have two number of mole. Siapa punya number of mole? You have another number of mole. Your number of mole total. Siapa punya number of mole? Label, label, label. Okay, next thing, the other number of mole, the other number of mole total, definitely our mole fraction come in first. So, okay, the mole fraction of halotin, I think that is quite simple. Mole fraction of halotin, make sure kalau orang yang kamu nak cari adalah halotin, use the number of mole of halotin, divide by the number of mole total yang kamu dah kira. Yang kamu nak, ambil number of mole dia. Kalau kamu kira oksigen, ambil number of mole, oksigen. So the number of mole dah ada 0.05572 daripada shikin. Number of mole total daripada human kalau tak silap saya. Okay. 
you get the number of mole over that, you will then have the mole fraction of halotin, other unit atau tak the unit. No, Mimi dok geleng pala. No, Mimi, can I have the value, please? Kosong poin kosong tujuh enam enam. Zero point zero seven six six. No unit. It's a fraction, ladies and gentlemen. Agree? Next, kita tanya sikit orang yang tak buka webcam dan tak tahu ada ke tak ada tu. I just want to make sure you're here. Hizam? Yeah, me. How can I find the mole fraction of O2 without using the same formula? Uh, boleh guna sat, satu tolak dengan X halotin. Use the one minus. Saya memang suka ajar student saya guna cara ni. Walaupun konsep yang kamu kena serap tu lebih sikit sebab kamu budak pandai. Kalau kamu masuk kat sini adalah tak tahu apa kosong, matematik, and math semua tak ambil dan saya ajar cara yang sama kamu repeat je. But I believe your brain works. Okay. So just get a bit more. You only have two things. Both of the mole fraction hasil tambah kena sama dengan satu. So you have one thing already. Nak dapat seorang lagi tak payah kira bahagi-bahagi dah weh. Satu tolak kosong pun kosong tujuh enam enam. You congak kamu dah dapat. Betul? Okay. Saya congak kita tengok betul tak? Uh, two, three, four. Betul ke? Macam tak je. Mantap miss. Mantap. Betul? Oh betul. Okay. Beres. Betul. <laughs> Okay, brain doesn't work very well. It's evening already. So, you got the mole fraction. Nampak? Senang? And tambah-tambah bila final kamu objective, I think this concept will save you a lot of time rather than tekan calculator tak berhenti. Okay, boleh? Question? Agree on that? You got the mole fraction already. Right now, the question asking for the partial pressure. So, let's find the partial pressure for both of them. So, I started off. I believe Ramai started off with the mole fraction of halotin, betul? And I always go against you. So I start off with partial pressure of oxygen. Okay? And just to prove that you are, uh, I am correct and you are correct too. If I'm using the partial pressure of oxygen first, then I'll be using the mole fraction of oxygen times the total pressure. Betul? Okay, ada total pressure? Okay, my total pressure is in millimeter mercury and I did not ask for ATM. My question to you, do you find your partial pressure in ATM straight away or you find them in millimeter mercury and then you change ATM? Kamu tukar dari awal tak? Tukar dari awal. Kalau saya, my advice adalah sebab tadi bila saya ajar cara senang, kadang-kadang budak tak faham cara senang tu. Bila masa nak guna. Betul. Kamu boleh masukkan millimeter mercury, dapat jawapan dalam millimeter mercury. Tak salah. Tapi untuk soalan ni dia jadi isu. Sebab soalan minta in ATM. So kalau soalan dah specify dia nak unit apa, then I think it will be easier to make your life easier and shorter adalah tukar dari awal. Siapa yang tak tukar pun tak salah. Tapi nak senang, kita tukar sekali je dari awal. So, can I have the millimeter mercury in ATM? Anyone? Pak Nip? Um, 1.0658. ATM. Eh? Use the ATM. Betul ke? Okay. Betul. Alright. Use the ATM. And then you put down the mole fraction yang kamu dah kira, mole fraction of oxygen yang kita dah tolak, 0.9234. The mole, uh, the P total is the one in ATM. Kamu kira lah, saya malah, saya nak tahu satu je. Jawapan akhir saya unit apa? Right now. ATM? ATM. Unit kamu adalah ATM because... The value that you use, 1.0658 is 1.0658 in ATM. Nampak beza? Okay. Uh, kita still sangat bermain dengan unit sayang. Kita still sangat-sangat bermain dengan unit. Alright. And saya tak payah bagi jawapan yang ni saya rasa. You should get it easily. How can I find the partial pressure of halotin other than using this method? Ani? 
total pressure tolak dengan uh, dengan oksigen punya pressure. Yes. Dua cara boleh. Of course, if you insist malas nak fikir kadang-kadang saya pun buat macam tu juga. Kamu malas nak fikir, malas lah nak fikir tolak apa, bahagi apa. Repeat je lah sebab more fraction tak ada. So kamu pun repeat lah guna haloatin, darat dengan P total. Repeat exactly the same. Tak ada masalah, boleh. Okay, sebab benda tak ada. Ataupun a better way. Smarter way or just to open up your mind a bit. Your partial pressure of your halotin can be the total pressure minus the partial pressure of oxygen gas. Setuju ke statement ni? Setuju. Okay, nampak? Easy. So you have over there is your 1.0658 minus the PO2 that you have calculated. Again, the unit shall be in ATM. Okay. All right. All right. Kalau okay, can I have, uh, do I need the value for later? How would the partial pressure change if the gas mixture placed in 10 liter container at 25, 27? Do I need that? Do I need that? I don't think I need that. No, I don't think I need that. So, adalah. Uh, just read me the answer, please. Can I just have one partial pressure of oxygen? Tabila? 0 0.9842 ATM. 0 0.9842, Sabila said. Okay. All right. 0 0.9842 ATM for partial pressure oxygen gas. Dah selesai? Okay. If you look at everything in front of you, you like I said, you basically are repeating the same thing twice. But that, Alright, dan bayangkan best tak kalau dia keluar subjektif. Best kan? Sangat best. Okay, sangat-sangat best. Benda yang sama kamu kira dua kali tapi dua-dua jawapan dapat markup. Mana tak best? Okay, this thing definitely can come out in your exam. Definitely as an objective question as well. Okay, tapi of course in the objective question, they maybe will ask for two answers so that your option A will have an answer comma another answer. Boleh jadi macam tu. Okay. I think the biggest problem in this type of question will be only one thing. Uh, okay lah, two things. Unit definitely is the one that you should already acknowledge of. Second, banyak sangat value. Label the value. Even though you're answering objective. Okay, masalah budak bila dia jumpa soalan objective, dia malas nak tulis. Tak tahu kenapa. Okay, bila dia jumpa soalan objective, dia malas nak tulis. Yang tu masalah dia. Jangan buat macam tu. Objective point, kalau sekali objektif susah, hang kena tulis juga. Conteng. Jawab macam biasa. Laju sikit je. Okay, tak payah tulis dengan sangat-sangat lengkap je. Boleh tulis short form sebab tak payah hantar kan. Tapi still kena label dia adalah siapa, unit dia apa. Okay, be careful. Alright, be careful. Alright, the next part of the question. Can I just rub this off? Okay, boleh lah. Tengok balik video lah nanti nak salin. So, the next part of the question is asking for partial pressure as well. Dia minta partial pressure sekali lagi. Read the question carefully. I have the second part of the question. How would the partial pressure change? Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. So right now, I have another question asking for the partial pressure sekali lagi. But the partial pressure that they ask right now is at different condition. Volume 10 liter. Okay. Temperature 27 degrees Celsius. 27 degrees Celsius. Kita tanya orang lain hari ni. Tukang tukar, tukang, uh, tukar Kelvin. Intan. Intan Syaira, 27 degrees Celsius. How many Kelvin? Intan? Intan tak menjawab. So, orang pergi dari sendiri lah. Okay. Okay. So, I hope first thing that you can see from these two type of question is Satu, dia mention pasal volume and temperature Satu lagi, dia hanya cerita pasal mass Nampak tak formula apa yang kita nak guna dah? Alright When you have the volume and temperature like I say The first thing that cross your mind, ideal gas equation When you are given the mass or the number of mole The first thing cross your mind, partial pressure Okay, the mole fraction formula Mole fraction formula and then your ideal gas formula Nampak beza? Okay, so over there, kita nak kira partial pressure sekali lagi. Sayang, 
Partial pressure berubah obviously sebab tu dia minta kamu cari. Partial pressure berubah sebab volume berubah, temperature berubah. So by right, can I use this formula? Partial pressure berubah, volume ubah, temperature ubah. Combine gas law. Kan? Tapi boleh guna tak? Kenapa tak boleh Syikin? Sebab kailan yang sebelum tu tak ada volume. Sebab yang sebelum tu tak ada volume, tak ada temperature. Kita tahu pressure berubah sebab kita nak cari pressure baru. Kita tahu suhu ubah, kita tahu volume ubah. Tapi kita tak tahu dia ubah dari mana. Kalau ikut logik, dia adalah combined gas law. Tapi kat sini combined gas law tak boleh guna because I don't know what they are lah data padang. Cheers. Combined gas law. Okay. Ish. When the pressure is changing, volume is changing, temperature is changing. There is one thing remain constant. What they are. PVT, one more. Apa? Number of mole. Number of mole is constant. So, kamu ubah macam mana pun, baca soalan betul-betul. Kamu ubah macam mana pun, jumpa tak perkataan gas is added or gas is removed. Tak ada kan? Bermakna bilangan gas sama banyak. Agree? Which mean the only thing that remain constant is your number of mole. So, in the other words, the number of mole of this is the same no matter is before or after the first and the second condition therefore tak boleh guna either uh, tak boleh guna combined gas law tapi number of mole constant so apa yang kita boleh guna is your ideal gas you can have your p oxygen equals to your number of mole oxygen rt over v can you see that shahira And then, sorry, Miss Lain, saya tak okay. Lain tak okay. Twenty-seven degrees Celsius sama dengan berapa Kelvin? Tiga ratus point satu lima. Three hundred point one five. So you can check everything in. Make sure you take the correct number of mole. Make sure it's the number of mole of your oxygen, and. Human gelap. Human gelap apa? Tak lah abang ambil semua teruk sangat. <laughs> dah? Semua dah dapat? My question to you. According to what I write on the screen, what would be the unit of my partial pressure? ATM. Intan say ATM. Anyone? TV? Kilo Pascal. Kilo Pascal. Can you explain why? Um, because the value of R is 8.314. Betul? So over here, which one is the question asking for? Why do I put in 8.314 and I find the Kilo Pascal? Oh, obviously to trap you lah. The first thing is to remind you about the unit. The second thing, if you read the question carefully, did the question ask specifically for any unit? They only ask for ATM in the first question. In the other words, how would the partial pressure change? You can answer in kilo pascal if you want, and the R value will be 8.314. Is that clear? Okay. Just to remind you, this thing could happen. And of course, I believe 99 0.999% except me in this class will be using 0 0.08206. So unit kamu dalam ATM. Betul? Okay, dah selesai yang tu satu soalan saya. Macam mana nak cari partial pressure kedua? Can I use P total minus PO2? My question over here is can I use the P total to minus the PO2? 
She can say no lagi orang lain. Zulaika, Zulaika ada dua orang kat situ dengan kawannya kan duduk kat mana? Wei background tu apa benda? Kan duduk kat bilik itu tu eh. Tak, okay, come on. Can I use to find the p halotene? Can I use the p total minus p o two? Anyone? You want say no? Ong? Ong? No. No. Why not? Because the total pressure already changed. Because the total pressure is a different condition. This total pressure over here is before. It's the first part. Betul? Boleh. Nak guna boleh. Tapi kena cari total pressure yang baru. Betul? Daripada cari total pressure yang baru, baik aku cari terus guna partial pressure. Betul? Daripada nak kira balik, lepas nak tolak balik, baik saya kira sekaligus je. Alright? Baik saya kira terus dengan your N halotin yang kamu dah ada. Alright? Guna balik exactly the same. Your RT over V the same thing. Nampak? Boleh? Alright, am I going too fast or I'm not giving you enough? Is that okay? What I'm trying to show you in this question is berhati-hati bila keadaan dalam soalan yang kamu berubah. When you have a different condition, means you will have two sets of data. And you need to find what remain constant in that two different situation. Alright? Biasanya yang akan kekal adalah number of more. Sebab kalau temperature berubah, pressure akan ubah. Bila volume ubah, pressure akan ubah. Volume, temperature and pressure biasanya akan ubah. Tapi yang akan kekal selagi gas tak dibuang atau gas tak ditambah number of mole yang kekal. So number of mole dua-dua keadaan kita boleh guna. Tapi bila suhu ubah, temperature ubah, total pressure pun akan ubah. So you cannot use the total pressure from the beginning just now. The trick of the question. Oh by the way it's an exam question. Definitely. Okay. Yes. Uh, can I like find the new total pressure first and then I multiply with the more, more fraction for each gas? You can find the new total pressure and then you multiply with the more fraction. Yes. Okay. Apa yang uh, Sabila buat? Can I just rub this off please? Okay. Apa yang Sabila buat is dia kira PV equals to NRT sekali sahaja and then dia guna tiga konsep. Okay. Saya guna cara ni sebab cara ni untuk saya senang kamu guna formula yang sama kamu repeat dua kali. Apa yang Sabila buat, tengok eh. Dia kira P total yang baru. So N total sama. R T over V. So kat sini kamu akan dapat P total. And because the number of mole is the same, so the mole fraction will be the same. So Sabila will be calculating the partial pressure of oxygen using the same mole fraction times with the new P total yang kamu kira baru tadi. So dua jenis formula yang berbeza dah. And then I believe when you get the uh, partial pressure already, you will use the new total pressure. Correct me if uh, I didn't do it the way you do. So you take the new total pressure, you minus the new partial pressure. Am I right? Okay. So boleh. Of course boleh. Like I say. Betul. Tak salah. Nampak tak cara dia? And I, uh, I I will try to show you as much as I can and yang saya rasa tak membebankan bilangan solution dia. Kalau kamu nampak dan kamu akan terbuka sikit minda kamu bila dalam exam kamu nak jumpa jalan yang pendek sikit tu. Jalan yang senang sikit tu. Okay. And yes Sabila. Yes. You can. But Sabila buat cara ni Sabila akan guna tiga jenis konsep. Satu the P total. Satu the partial pressure mole fraction. Satu lagi the total pressure minus the partial pressure. Kalau cara yang kita guna tadi, one way, two sto uh, one zone, two words. Same thing, repeat. Okay, dua-dua betul. And the good news, kalau dalam subjektif, dua-dua sama banyak maka. Dan kalau dalam objektif adalah whichever come into your mind first. Dalam exam, daripada nak fikir cara pendek, sayang, buat je cara apa yang masuk dalam otak kamu hari tu. Okay. Boleh? Question? Question? No? Nope. Okay ke? 
All right, I will just give you the one, the new partial pressure. The partial pressure oxygen new that I get calculated is 1.6541. So, dari sini kamu akan dapatlah haluan tinggi punya. Uh, is that right? Setuju ke? Okay. This is the new partial pressure. Okay. Question. Boleh? Nak Easy. tanya satu, Miss. Boleh, Zawal. Vapor, vapor tak semestinya air lah, maknanya. Vapor adalah wap. Vapor adalah wap. Okay, vapor adalah gas. Bukan wap air. Vapor adalah gas. Alright, right. vapor yeah. adalah gas. Yes, water vapor adalah wap air. Kalau kita didihkan apa pun, kalau satu hari masuk mamal, kalau kita ada peluang, kita didihkan etanol. Saya minta light, light system bagi etanol. Etanol will boil about 78 degrees Celsius. So if we boil etanol and then I put a mirror or anything and then there, there is condensation. So we are producing vapor also. But the vapor that we produce is etanol vapor. Vapor is a warp sayang. Okay. Lagi. Okay ke? Susah ke? Panjang. Okay. Dia panjang tapi dia tak susah. Guys, one thing. Label. Even though later you answer this question in objective, imagine if you're answering this question in objective and you decided untuk tekan calculator, tulis value tapi tak tulis siapa punya. You're in a deep shit. Very deep. Alright. I want to remind you one thing. No matter what question you're answering, objective or subjective, if the question is tough, You need, you need to hold your pen and write something. Okay? Jangan harap soalan objektif adalah soalan yang hang boleh tekan kalkulator. Oh, tekan-tekan, bracket-bracket, lepas tu dapat jawapan. Dalam mimpi pun tak. Faham? Okay. Question. Uh, like I say, soalan dia panjang tapi yang belakang-belakang tu pendek je. Soalan satu saya bincang lama sikit lah. Tomorrow we will go, we will still go for the, all this question. Okay? Uh, most of my class can finish discuss. Ada soalan senang. Saya tahu ada lagi soalan tadi, soalan 2 dengan 8 kan? Esok kita mula dengan soalan 2 dan soalan 8. Tak payah gaduh. Lepas soalan 8 dan kita kita undi balik siapa laju. Okay. So tomorrow we will discuss this. Okay. Senang. Soalan 8. Antak tengok video. Soalan dalam video betul? Betul. So, soalan favorite. Uh, by the way, for tomorrow class, I want you